What's happening, motherfuckers? How are we all doing? It's been a long time. I'm making this YouTube video while streaming on my Twitch. Um, it's been five years since I've made a video. I thought what I'll do is I'll play some of my favourite episodes in the background. Um, just got three of my favourite ones. From This was uploaded 18th of Jan 2014. A lot of you will remember this. But I'll be getting a few tweets whilst I was... Um, streaming at the start of lockdown just a lot of people ask me what I've been up to and stuff like that what I've been doing nowadays and um, instead of just replying to everyone on Twitter I thought I'd make a YouTube video and it's probably going to get about 200 views or something because I haven't been uploading that much let me just turn this down a bit like I say there's going to be no editing towards this nothing's professional whatsoever I'm just literally getting a chat going on recording it through my OBS whilst watching this in the background and um yeah, it's been fucking ages, man. It's been ages. I've been watching a lot of old stuff on stream and stuff like that. And I have missed... I, I, I wouldn't say I could trick shot again, but I've missed doing YouTube. But I just wouldn't know what to do. That's why I've been streaming and playing a lot of Warzone and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, I'll just, a lot of people have been asking what I've been up to. So I thought I'd just tell you. I'm still... If, if you watched that video ages ago with call this, this episode, by the way, it's, just, it's my favourite. Click like if you remember this. I don't know how to promote your videos and that anymore, it's been that long, but if you remember all these videos back in the day, if you was around this long ago, make sure to click like. Um, yeah, a lot of people was asking, so if you watched my video that I've done with Apex about, I think it was nearly about two or three years ago, um, it's got like 750k views or something stupid like that. Um, you'll know that I'm a personal assistant, I'm still doing that now, um, but obviously with the lockdown and that all going on and stuff like that. A lot of things have changed. I've had, I've still been working, but I've had more time throughout the days. It's been like a lot of night stuff, really. But throughout the days, I've had a lot more time, and I've been streaming on Twitch. I stream every single day on Twitch on Warzone. This episode was just. This must hit everyone who's watching this in the fields. I've watched this about hundred times in the past month, since since lockdown. Anyway, I've watched this about hundred times. But these are my favourite clips, anyway. Um, yeah, same old stuff. Just streaming on Twitch every single day. Before lockdown, I was working. I was a personal assistant for a disabled person, looking after him full time. Um, I still do that now. What else is there to say? I had a lot of questions actually. Let me go on Twitter. Two seconds. I go on Twitter and load them up. Let's see what you people have been asking on Twitter. I'll follow my Twitter. My link will be in the description for that as well. Um, I, had a, I had a tweet that popped off yesterday, so I got to go all the way down. Any chance of a throwback trick shot in vid in the future, you will not see trick shotting from me ever again, unless they remaster MW2. I pro I'm probably not going to make many YouTube videos in the past, I just enjoy streaming. Who remembers this episode and all? This episode was sick. These are three of my favourite episodes that I'm about to show you. My next one that I'm going to show you is my favourite. Um, but yeah, I've, 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 I will definitely not be trick shotting. Not to this, like, you had to play 12, 13, 14 hours a day to... To hit some of these clips, and you, even when you done that, it still took took two. I couldn't think. I'm not even joking. As much as these were the best times of my life, I couldn't think of anything worse now than getting on and trick shotting for that amount of time. And because you've got to remember, you was playing with your mates as well. I don't know if it was like that for you, but you was playing with your mates back in the day and stuff like that. And they they were all working and doing their own stuff, and it's just it just wouldn't be the same. It, it kind of went downhill when it would turn into free for all. And not S&D, because it just got all a bit boring and stuff like that. And it weren't a bit for me. Um, another question here is, why did I get kicked from FaZe? The first time I got kicked from FaZe, because if you didn't know, I've joined twice. The first time I got kicked from FaZe was about a week before that. I said to Seabass, I was like, Seabass, I've got a job now. I need to work and stuff like that. Like, I haven't really got much time. He was like, oh, it's all right. Like, just have, a, have as much time as you need, blah, blah, blah. Because I was close with them all as well, so it weren't just like they got me in and I was sending them clips and that was it. Um, I was close with them all. Um, <coughs> so the f and then a week later he went and kicked me. He <laughs> went and kicked me the first time. And then Ghost came out, which I should have played that episode then, and I uploaded this, this reintroducing. Get this fucking, don't gamble, don't you, don't get sucked in by any of these adverts. Um, well, should have um, played that one, but then I got back in phase through Ghost. Reintroducing Phase Zimmer episode 37 that was uploaded January 2014, and then I went on about I think it was the following year I think Advanced Warfare came out for about a year straight when I got into Phase again I was grinding uploading daily 
And it must have been about a month before Advanced Warfare came out. My mum got ill. No, my mum got ill in the May. In the May, but then she got really ill. Like, from, like, the September, October-ish. So my focus weren't on YouTube whatsoever. Like, I was... Because it was my only way of income, I decided to get a part-time job because I needed money. Like, my mum weren't working or anything like that at the time. I needed money just just to help out a little bit. Um, so when when it came to the October... I stopped. Like, I was just I, I I was an embarrassment to FaZe to be honest because some of the stuff I was uploading purely for money. Like I was literally uploading it just for money. Oh shit, let me play this. I was uploading it just for money. So you gotta think I was uploading this was at a stage when they was producing some sick videos, Apex Rain and all that, like high standard, everyone on YouTube loved them. I was still uploading the seven twenty bell stuff wall bang hit marker. That was fifteen seconds long. You know what I mean? I was supposed to be in phase at the time, so it just purely turned for to money for me, and I'm going to be completely honest. It was I had to get an income. I had to instead of trying hard and pitting my effort that I, w that I was carrying on. There was a lot of shit going on in my life at that time, but it weren't an excuse to an extent. I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. It's not, it's not like that. Um, there was a lot of shit going on, so I was just uploading anything whilst working. So I would be working nine till no six till four or something like that, coming home for a few hours. And even if I just hit a shit hit mark, I was uploading it. It was getting like 15 to 20k views, like 300 dislikes, and it just my channel turned into like a bit of an embarrassment. But um, then when when it came to November, um, this is actually my favourite episode. When it came to November and Advanced Warfare came out, they done the whole red thing and they put me in red. And from then I just lost interest. Um, and then I didn't really do YouTube anymore until until I started streaming about. Later on that year, when my mum started to get a bit better, I started to get a bit of interest back into trick shotting on MW2 and that at that time. And I was in red, and then I uploaded an introduction to red and and stuff like that. And it was good for about a year. And then after that, I just I didn't touch nothing. I don't even think I uploaded my introduction to the red on my channel. That's how bad it was. Um, but I didn't give a fuck at that point. Like I, I got into phase, and that was that was the biggest thing. That was like the biggest achievement you could possibly do. I didn't see the well, I did know how much money and fame and whatever. I did know that, but I didn't care. I didn't really care about the fame side. Everyone cares about money. Fuck me, I wish I stayed in it for the money, but not to an extent where, like, I didn't want to do something that I weren't enjoying. Like, it's, you don't understand how depressed it was getting up every day, playing something that you played for six years, just to have, like, like 12 people watching you, and it was just forced. Not, not that, like, having 12 people's bad, but when you go from like having 312,000 on this YouTube video to then only 12 people coming to say hello to you and that, it's mad. But now, nowadays, even if I have two people in my stream, because I'm enjoying it so much, I'm appreciating it a lot. So my mindset's changed completely. But um, that is the reason why I got kicked from phase the first and second time. But who knows? Who knows what will happen? Um, someone, <laughs> someone who I know has said, you once spoke about a dirt track. What did you mean by this? But when... <laughs> when your girlfriend's on your period, on their period, you, there's a saying that I've learned that if the river's running red, use the dirt track. And I'll let you um, figure that one out by yourself in the chat. Is there any more? As long as this was happening, motherfuckers, at the start, I've already done that. What's happening, motherfuckers? Can't even do the whistle no more. Um, yeah, everyone starts to do the intro and all that. It should be interesting. Grind it again. I'm, I won't be grinding YouTube, but this is what I'm. I'm if you do want to see me more often than that, I do a lot of Warzone streams with my girlfriend um, every single day. There ain't like set times. It's mainly between like 12, 12 till four, like UK time, and then like six. I go off have dinner, plot for like an hour or so, and then it'll be six until about half ten, eleven ish, and then I've got to go and do things. So. They're the sort of times you want to find me. If you are still interested in what I'm up to nowadays, if you want to come and play Warzone with me, um, if you want to do anything, then come and come and follow the link in the description on Twitch. I'm still like verified and that on there. I've got sub badge. I've got some sub emotes. If you want to come and subscribe, you got Twitch Prime. Come over. You know what I mean. As I said, it needs to be done. So yeah, if you if if this popped up in your sub box or if you're not watching it and you're not, don't worry about. It. I'm not asking for a subscribe. I, I, w I would like you all to like it if it's brought you a bit of nostalgia because it's 
when I see ratings like that, it does make me a bit happy. But apart from that, this is phase Zim. Or like, this is what phase Zim has been up to now. Day I just work prior to lockdown, of course. I hope you're all well and all your family's well and all that during everything that's gone on. But I just, I just work nowadays. Pretty much work throughout the weeks. Do busy on the weekend. Get a lot, of, um, do a lot of things on the weekend and. Didn't have time for COD, but Warzone came out at the right time for lockdown and stuff like that. So I think I've got like 14 days playtime on Warzone, which is more than what I had on MW3 when it came out. I think I've got more days on Warzone than what I did trickshotting on MW3, so it goes to show how much I'm playing that. But if you if you enjoyed this, if you have ever want to see me play, if you want to follow me on Twitch, links will all be in the description. Um, like I said, I hope you're all doing well. Um, it might be weird seeing me pop up in your subscription or if you're seeing it in a recommended. I don't even know how YouTube works no more. I don't even know if I'm allowed to swear. Like, I, don't, I don't know. When I'm doing my intro saying what's happening, motherfuckers, I don't know if, if I'm going to get copyright strikes for someone creating the word fuck or so. I don't know. YouTube's changed so much. I wasn't going to edit stuff out, but I just showed something on the screen, so I had to, I had to edit that out. But, um, yeah, it's coming up to 10 years ago that I actually made my first ever YouTube video and it was just a no scope across Afghan in 2010 August 2010 so in two months time it would have been 10 years ago that I made my first ever YouTube video so I'm a pretty much I'm a pioneer in this shit but yeah if you've enjoyed this make sure to click the like button um, make sure to follow my Twitch link will be in the description now as I said I stream every single day do a lot of duos with my girlfriend she's fucking unreal with it she's actually better than me sometimes I carry her a few games, she carries me a few games, and we always get wins, so it works out perfectly. And then I do a few squads, I still play with Link. Oh, that was another question, do I speak to any phase members? Not really, to be honest. I, I catched up with Linksy um, during Warzone, I, I played with him for a few weeks, and then he stopped playing Warzone for a bit, he's doing his own thing on, on the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare. Um, but apart from that, I don't really speak to many phase members. I, sp I spoke to Seabass a bit... Um, when I was playing Fortnite for a couple of weeks, but apart from that, I haven't really tried to reach out to them, or they haven't really reached out to me. It's just one of the things that you grow up and you, you you go apart. It happens in life. But I hope you um hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've explained it good. I, I like I said, I haven't made a YouTube video. I haven't done this in about six years, so this is like new to me. Where it used to be my bread and butter, this is new to me, completely new to me. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure to follow my twi um, my Twitch in the description. And I'm going to have to love you and leave you on a map. Fucking deuces.